come to all fours, you're going to bring your forearms to the floor, place your hands flat onto the mat. You don't want your, your wrist too in or your wrist too out, your wrist will be directly in line with your forearms, your, for, your elbows underneath your shoulders and your hips underneath your knees. Inhale, round the back, look into the navel and exhale, arch the back, look up, look behind you. You want to pull those elbows to the knees but without moving them. You'll feel nice extension through the upper back as you inhale, round the back, look into the navel. Exhale, arch your back, look up, look behind you. Inhale, round the back and exhale, arch the back. Hold that arch, keep pulling the forearms into the knees, lift the chest and come to a flat back. Slowly extend one leg out to uh, behind you for a forearm plank. Breathe. And release the knees back down to the floor. <coughs> come on to all fours. You're gonna tuck your toes under. Rise the bum back, downward facing dog. Finding your Ujjayi breath and finding your breath. Walk your feet in between your hands, toes touch, heels separate, exhale, fold. Inhale, look up, lift the chest, squeeze those shoulders, arms up next to your ears, rise all the way up and arch all the way back. Again, just two sun salutations, nice and easy. Inhale, your arms all the way up and arch back. As you exhale, hinge from the hips, fold forward, forward in. Inhale, look up, lift the chest, squeeze the shoulders. Exhale, bend at the elbows, fold forward, walk back into plank. Lower the knees to the floor, lower chaturanga, all the way down. Point your toes, rise up, upward facing dog, knees off of the mat. Lift the chest through the arms, knees down again. And then push back down, facing dog. Five breaths. Inhale, walk your feet in between your hands, toes touch, heels separate, exhale, fold. Inhale, look up, lift the chest, squeeze the shoulders, arms up next to the ears, rise all the way up and arch back. You should be getting stronger in these if you're following the classes. Hands down by your side. Inhale, your arms all the way back, arch back, exhale, slowly fold, forward, forward, in. Inhale, look up, lift the chest, squeeze the shoulders. Exhale, fold back, walk back into plank position. Lower the knees, lower chaturanga all the way down to the floor. Rise up, upward facing dog, open the chest. And then lower the knees down to the floor, push back down dog and breathe. Drop your knees down to the mat, extend your arms out in front of you, chest to the floor, puppy pose. And breathe your dry breath. Keep the breath, keep the sound of the, of the flow, keep the sound of the breath moving. Creating a nice rhythm with the breathing. Tuck your toes, rise your bum up, downward facing dog. Hook your feet in between your hands, exhale, fold forward. Look up, lift the chest, squeeze the shoulders, arms up next to your ears, rise all the way up. Okay, so if you've got two blocks, use two blocks. If you don't, you're just going to come down into a normal yogic squat. You can even use like bricks. So you're going to open your feet as wide as the mat, turn your toes onto the floor, heels on the mat. Come down, sit on the blocks, put your elbows into the knees, bring your hands or your wrists in line with your elbows to push the knees out with the elbows to bring the hands down in line with the elbows. Slowly growing up with the chest, yogic squats, and we're going to hold it here for about eight breaths. Constantly making the pelvis nice and heavy, and as that heaviness roots into the earth, you're going to lift the chest to the sky. Mm -hmm. 
slowly straighten your legs, lift your bum up to the sky, keep your hands down and keep your toes exactly how they are. You're not going to move your shoulders, you're just going to take your hips to the left without even bending the knees. Hips to the right without bending the knees. And again, one more time, over to the left, over to the right. So heel your feet in together, toes touch, heels separate, exhale, fold. Inhale, look up, lift the chest, squeeze the shoulders, rise all the way up, arch all the way back, and release your hands down by your side. You're going to step your right foot back at a 45, and then you're going to turn your left toes in at a 45. So your, your big toes are facing each other, your heels are out to the side of the mat, and your feet are open about shoulder distance apart. Inhale, put your hands onto your hips, rise the spine up out of the pelvis. As you exhale, rotate the knees inwards, fold forward with a black, with a fat, black, fat, flat back. I'm a word. <laughs> Place your hands onto the floor. Make sure your toes are in line with each other. Fingertips onto the floor, walk your hands back. And now when you bend your elbows, bend your elbows in towards each other. You're keeping the length through the side of the body and you're constantly using your fingertips to pull the crown of the head to the floor. The knees are rolling in and keep the knees slightly soft and breathe. Straighten your arms, walk your hands to the front of the mat, keep your hands in line with your shoulders. As you inhale, lift the chest, flatten the back. Keep still, knees rolling in, slightly bent. As the back flattens, you're going to put your hand in the center of your feet, but still at the front of the mat. Inhale, rise the right arm up to the sky, keeping the weight even in your feet, front and back. Lift your right arm up to the sky. So if I had to draw a line from the top hand to the bottom hand, it's one line. Push your left hand into the floor to rotate the body even more. And release your right hand where your left hand is. As you inhale the left arm up to the sky, push your right hand into the floor to rotate that left shoulder back. And release that down. Straighten your arms, look up, lift the chest and hold. Place your hands on your hips, inhale, puff the chest up, rise all the way up to a standing position and extend your arms out to a T. Inhale, puff your chest up again, stick the tailbone out, fold forward, bring the crown of the head to the floor and place your hands, yogic toe lock, around the big toes. It's your index finger, middle finger around the big toe, thumb finger onto the big toenail. Inhale, straighten your arms, lift the chest. And exhale now, just bending at the elbows. That will keep the, the length through the side of the body. And keep focusing on bringing the crown of the head down. Don't be scared to bring your weight forward of your hands. And breathe. Release your yogic toe lock, place your hands onto the mat, in front of the mat, straighten your arms, lift the chest, flatten the back, rise your arms up next to your ears, rise all the way up, circle your arms to your bum, squeeze your palms together, elbows slightly bent, squeeze the shoulders to pull the hands away from the bend, bum, as you exhale, keep the chest lifted and hinging from the hips, bring your forehead to the floor, crown of the head down, hands coming over the head and breathing. lift the chest squeeze the shoulders flat in the back as you look up to the sky pull your hands back and rise your body up and out of there placing your hands onto your hips inhale puff the chest elbows in and exhale with a flat back guarding with the chest as you bring the crown of the head onto the floor hang heavily through that upper body and
release your hands to the floor, walk your hands down to the back of the mat. In between your hands, turn your fingertips away from your palms to the floor as you pull your hands into the mat to pull the crown of the head in. You're basically hinging more from the hips, not from the back, so just focus on your breath. And walk your hands forward again to the front of the mat, lift the chest, place your hands onto your hips, puff your chest, rise all the way up to a standing position. And turn the toes out, slowly bending the knees, sitting down into goddess pose as you bring your arms up next to your ears. And then slowly place your hands onto each knee as you bend your left elbow into your ribs, bring your right shoulder blade to your left knee, push the right arm away from you. Inhale, straighten arms, come back to center, bend your right elbow into your ribs, keep your left hand arm straight, push the left knee away from you, left shoulder to right knee. Inhale, back to center, bend the left elbow, push the right knee away from your right shoulder, left knee. Inhale, straighten the arms, let's go over to the other side, beautiful stretch from the side body. Inhale, come back to center, bring your arms up next to your ears and slowly straighten the legs. Coming down again into your goddess pose, try to bring the knees down low, but don't tilt the pelvis in, keep that pelvis out. Weight into the heels, and let's rise the heels off to the off of the floor as you bring your arms up next to your ears. For inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three. Slowly coming to a standing position as you take your toes out again, and you're going to inhale, lift the chest, exhale, fold forward. Walk your hands over to that left foot, bend into the left knee, straighten that right leg, rotate the right toes up to the sky and really focus on bringing the left heel into the mat. You feel a beautiful inner thigh stretch. Slowly walk your hands back to center, straighten both legs. Keep those sides of the feet parallel to the mat as you extend those arms forward. Try and lengthen those fingertips all the way in front of you. Roll your knees in, bend your knees into each other, but now pull back from the bum. Lengthening the fingers forward, pulling back by the bum. And then slowly release, walk your hands either side of the right foot. Bring the bum down, turn the left toes out, left leg straight and breathe. Slowly walk your hands back to center and again extend your arms all the way out in front of you. Watch your feet are in. Lengthen the arms out in front of you. Lift the chest. Pull back with that bum. And slowly walk your hands back to center. Hands onto the hips. Rise the chest all the way up. Flat back and then come to stand at the front of your mat. Inhale. Rise the chest all the way up. Arch back. Exhale. Slowly fold forward. Hands to the mat. Inhale, look up, lift the chest, squeeze the shoulders, exhale, fold forward. Walk your feet back into downward facing dog. Inhale, come into upward facing dog. dog. Bring the body forward, lower the pelvis, point the toes, lift the chest. Keep that chest rising as you just bend the elbows and then bring the belly to the floor and then the chest to the floor. Inhale, rise up again, upward facing dog and exhale, push back down dog. Inhale, lean forward into plank, drop the pelvis, lift the chest up, dog, point the toes. Keep lifting the chest as you slowly bring the belly to the floor, bending the elbows forward to the floor. Inhale, rise up, upward facing dog, and exhale, push back down, dog. And come back into plank and exhale, lower yourself all the way down onto the mat. And just breathe, just hands underneath your forehead, hips to the floor, just rock your hips side to side. And slowly bend your heels to your bum, take your hands around the shins, ankles and knees touching. Inhale, kick back, lift the chest. Three, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, and exhale, release it down. Slowly push back into your rest position, extending your arms out in front of you, and breathe.
Round yourself all the way up as you extend your legs out in front in front of you. Pashimottanasana. Move your fleshy bits back. Inhale. Bring your hands either side of your hips, straighten your arms, flatten that back as you slowly inhale your arms up next to your ears. And again, hinging from the hips, stick that bum out and bring your hands around your baby toes. And just like the other day, if you can't touch your baby toes, put your hands either side of the shins, grabbing the mat with your fingers, constantly lengthening the crown of the head to the front of the mat for five breaths. lengthen lift the chest slowly coming out of that bending your knees into your chest together heels close to your bum wrap your left arm around your knees place your right hand to the base of the spine push your right hand into the earth to rotate over that right shoulder squeeze the knees in come back to center wrap your right arm around your knees left hand to the base of your spine push your left hand into the earth to lift and grow Nice twist, twists are amazing for the body. Slowly come back to center, take your hands 30 centimeters behind your fingertips in. If you battle with your fingertips in, just turn your fingertips out. Take your feet a little bit more away from you, from you and slightly open the feet. Inhale, lift the chest and let's lift the hips up to the sky, placing your feet flat into the floor. If you do not get nauseous, you're more than welcome to take your neck back and look back. If you do, just keep the neck up. Keeping the big toes down, use the big toes to lift the hips as we slowly drop the bum down. Open those legs as wide as you possibly can and inhale, lift the chest, exhale, fold forward, walking your hands forward. Don't let the toes rotate out, keep them nice and up to the sky, just keep lengthening the bum behind you. As you lengthen your arms out in front of you, keep your hands there, just drop the elbows to the floor and breathe. Lifting the elbows off the floor, keep using your hands to, to pull your hands towards you to lift the chest up to the sky and slowly come out of it, bring your legs together as you come to lie down on the mat on your back. Bend both knees into your chest, squeeze it in, extend your right, right leg out in front of you onto the mat, right hand onto the left knee, let's grab that left knee over to the right and look to the left and breathe. back to center bring both knees into your chest give yourself a hug let's extend the left leg out bring the right knee over to the left take your right arm out to the side look to the right as the left knee drops over right knee drops over to the left i've oh, got my left and right there okay and just breathe legs out in front of you let's prop up for your fish pose onto the forearms lift the chest drop the crown of the head onto the mat behind you and today we're going to be lifting up both legs and you're going to breathe in keep pushing the floor away with your forearms inhale and inhale slowly lengthen the hands down tilt the lower back middle back into the mat palms up open the feet as wide as the mat and just breathe and breathe thank you very much <laughs> 